Now it's time for our prayers. Keeping all our hearts and minds open, let us pray to the Lord, responding, Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to bring peace to our world. We pray for all those who are searching and praying for peace and all those who are threatened by warfare and violence. We pray that people will realise that we always have more in common with our neighbours than we have differences. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to give grace to the leaders of our church and all religions, so they may provide us with spirituality and guidance. We ask you to open up our ears, our minds and our hearts, we may listen and act on their words, and in doing so, might show compassion, empathy and kindness to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to look down in our troubled world and give direction and understanding to the political leaders of all nations and all those who have influence among us. Where there is disagreement in our world, Lord, we ask you to lead people to choose reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for all help for all those who are suffering from the effects of hurricanes, volcanoes, storms, earthquakes, floods, droughts or fires. And we pray that our planet's resources will be used equitably and responsibly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to help ease the pain and distress of those in our community and all those known to us who are ill or who are suffering. We pray for all those who devote so much time to the care of others. We also pray on this day for all those who have no one else to pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to hold in your hands all those who have recently departed and those lost loved ones on an anniversary or birthday at this time. May their souls rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now take time to say in silence all the thoughts and prayers deep within our own hearts. For all these silent prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and on earth, mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us therefore confess our sins, saying together, Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We have not loved ourselves as we ought. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you to life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We are the body of Christ. By the one Spirit we were all baptised into one body, and have all been made to drink of the one Spirit. And the peace of the Lord be with you all.